Okay, sorry, I'm just setting up still. I'll be a second. Mm. Okay, it looks like we have a few people. Um, hi. Obviously, you, I was going to like introduce myself like I do in my normal videos, but that seems a bit silly on a live because if you're here, you probably already know that I'm Natty. Um, I'll wait a minute and then start unboxing. Um, yeah, I got this new package today. I just picked it up from the post office today. It is all brand new stuff um, from a different place than last time. Um, okay, hi to everyone. We've got a few people commenting. Um, Justin, no idea how you say that, sorry. And Zach. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'll get into it. Um, I just need to get out something. Hi, Alan. Um, sorry, just checking through my emails to make sure I get the name right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So how's everyone's day been today? Mm -hmm. Hi to Mickey as well. Okay, um, yeah, so it looks like everyone's having a good day. Some of them, yeah, I can't actually read because it's not in English, so sorry about that. But basically, today we're doing another little unboxing because everyone seemed to enjoy it last time. To be honest, they probably just clicked on the video because of the thumbnail, but you know, whatever. I mean, Holland, yeah, see, there's people from all over the place. Um, I'll be able to check the demographics when this ends, but while it's live, I can just sit here and talk. So, um, hello to everyone, to Nicholas and Alan and Amo, um, and Zach, Mickey. Um, yeah, that's about everyone so far. Um, I'm sure there are plenty more of you, but they're not commenting, and I can't see the names of people if they're not commenting. Little shout out, you want to say hi, then make sure you leave a comment down um, in the chat bar. And um, now let's get into it. So, this package I just arrived to actually got sent to me here in Claire, which made it a lot easier. Normally, all the packages I'm ordering while I'm down here are getting sent to my um, home, my normal home, and then I have to like go and pick them up on the weekends and things. So, it takes me a lot longer to get my stuff. But this got sent straight here, so very convenient. The items are from Honey Birdette, but I didn't actually pick them out myself. Um, a subscriber actually bought them for me, which is nice. He was sending me some emails about um, just like some questions about the latex and all of this. And we were talking and he was like, I'll buy you some to try out and let me know what you think. Let me know. Um, I think it's for a photo shoot he's doing. And he wanted to know if, um, if the latex was comfortable to wear for a long amount of time, that sort of thing. So. I've got some stuff here. Um, hi to Vicky and Yuri. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just open it up to show you what I've got. I did see the um, like the order list, so I had that sent to me, but I didn't pick anything out. And I'm gonna be really careful with it because I do have long nails. I this one fell off, but I do have yeah, like um, my fake nails on right now, so I don't want to like stab the latex and completely destroy it. So I'm being really careful. The thing with Honey Burnet is that the stuff is so expensive that they really package it really nice. I'll link the stuff down below, I guess, when it's yeah, done being live. Um, so when I turn off the live feature, I'll go and try and add a link and stuff down below if anyone's gift wrapping. I love that. Um, well, not really, but sort of. They have like the cutest tissue paper. It's like little girls with shopping bags. Um, 
I'm gonna ask, how do you latex lover? Honestly, I never thought about wearing latex and I don't know, with a lot of the stuff I have, I probably won't wear out if I'm totally honest, but people like to see it and everyone keeps wanting to, um, I guess, know how to style it. I think a lot of people just don't um, know what to, to do with latex. It, I guess it started a few years ago. I was having um, like, what are they, like leather look or like wet look leggings that I was trying and like doing like styling videos. So I did like one video because I think it was a subscriber suggestion and I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. And I got super popular and then I did part two and that was like my, you know, even more popular. And then I did a latex a latex look book um for Christmas last year it was during Vlogmas and that like blew up I had a lot of views on that um and everyone was like it's not real latex because it was from um mesh gear online and they had some like really cute stuff that was um like lined on the inside so it wasn't really latex it was just um like plastic look on the outside so it had that shiny like latex look but it wasn't real latex and yeah, and then everyone really enjoyed that. And I do like the look of latex, but I don't know that I would love wearing um, something that literally just feels like you, like a glove on your body, like real latex. And I tried it on in um, a video that went up last week. So I'll have a link down below the try on latex for the first time if you haven't already seen it. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's the story of how I got into being a latex lover. So I do enjoy the look of it. I think it looks sexy. It looks fun. Um, definitely stand out and when I wore my um, red um, shiny fake latex skirt I got the most compliments ever when I was going out I did style it like a concert and I love that outfit so yeah it's fun and why not um sorry just checking the comments before I move on mm, yes hi to you too Dick hi from Ukraine hi, Yuri Ukraine um, Helen says, yay, Honey Bear, I love the company. Um, yeah, I have bought from Honey Bear before, but only if I like the lingerie stuff, um, because I never, I always wanted, yeah, like the hot pants. Actually, maybe this is hot pants. I thought maybe that they sent the, um, because in the picture that they have, um, they come in these cute little boxes. Sorry, I'm not being a very good unboxer. I'm getting distracted by the fact that I'm on live but nice and shiny so I think in the picture that I got what a form it had yeah like the little hot pants with the tights and I thought that I was getting the tights but I hope it is the hot pants because that would be way cuter um so I've got this and this one which is the leggings because if you've seen my last well I did an unboxing on the live and then I tried it all on you'll know that I was originally going to get some latex leggings but the company um, on my clothing that I got them through was completely sold out. They had none, so they didn't send me any. So I got, yeah, hot pants, leggings. I will take them out of this box in a second. Um, but I also got some other goodies. What's this one? Dressing aid for rubber and latex clothing. So I guess this is the stuff that helps you put it on. Latex dressing aid. Ignore my like ratchet fingers. I need, I need to stick my nail back on, but I just haven't yet. Um, and then some latex shining spray. So yeah, these to help get them on and make them look cute. And then the baggie, which I guess I'll keep it all in. Okay, what should I unbox first? The hot pants or the leggings? And yes, my hair does look longer. I have extensions in, that's why it looks longer. But leggings or hot pants first, what do we think? The whole point of this being live is that you guys should be able to comment and let me know. Otherwise, I'll just pick and go anyway. Um, and Helen says the spray helps a lot trust me so yeah I everyone tells me that the spray will help so I'll give it a go but I didn't get any last time when I threw on a clothing they didn't send me any so yeah um Alexandria is the only one who has commented and she said leggings so I guess we're going with the leggings first I'm probably not going to try them on 
right now again just because of my nails I don't want to like stab them I think it look really cute with nails like in the outfits but I just really don't want to like break them um how do you oh it's got a feel I don't want to put a hole in it just because I have you know long fingernails okay and Mickey says the same he says leggings So, leggings it is. I think I got these in a size small medium. Okay. Ooh, I was going to show you. Like, um, with a little card on the inside. Um, Amo said it seems sticky in Aussie summer to me. Well, it's not summer right now, actually. It's autumn. It was, it was quite hot today. It was like 21 degrees for this time of year. But it's yes, yeah, we'll be in winter next month. So it's the if you're in America, our weather is the opposite here. So on the winter time, won't have to worry about the sweatiness so much. Um, what's this? Oh, it's like how to care for care instructions. Yeah, because the thing about this stuff is the honey butter leggings. I looked at the website online, and they're like one hundred and ninety dollars just for one pair of leggings. Okay, obviously in the black, let me just, oh, it's all stuck together. Very shiny. See, these I probably will wear because like, I think you can like dress them up and wear like a oversized um, jumper would look super cute. And I'm really glad that these came in time. So now I can, I haven't filmed my um, styling latex yet so now I can um do them in the same video um there's just another comment from Sarah Moore she says did you get these yourself or do they sponsor you leggings look super cute and very shiny um you must have missed the first part of this video but I was saying that a subscriber actually bought them for me to try out so yeah someone um bought them on my website and then put in my address and they got sent to me so yeah, thank you very much. It was a very expensive order, so a very generous gift by um, Mike. I'll try and see what his last name was. Mike Bartholomew. So thank you very much to Mike if he is watching right now. I really appreciate it. The deal was, yeah, that I tried them out, um, see how I like them, because he wants to use them for a photo shoot. Um, and I was just going to let him know if I thought they were comfortable enough to wear for five hours or not. So, yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so these are like the same deal as last time. It's sort of like they glued together. I'm not actually sure how like, um, how you make, like make clothes out of latex. I sew like clothes, so like I know how to like make a pair of pants, but when it comes to latex, like I've never worked with latex before. And obviously you don't stitch it, it's like sealed or glued together or something. But it's set on the tag size average, even though I think on the website it's like size small, medium. That message on the website on the inside. Um, and Zach Davies says it's early winter in Taddy. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, like technically, I think, what have we got? January, March, April, May. So yeah, March, April, May is autumn. And then July, August is winter. So heading into winter now, and I will be in Tasmania for winter. So, I mean, maybe I'll bring these with me. I don't know that I'm going to have, like, a reason to wear them out. Maybe just, like, to take pictures in and stuff. Um, these are better quality than Honor or not. Okay, so Helen was asking if the Honey Bird that ones are better quality than the Honor clothing ones. And I can't um, say that, I guess, because, one, I haven't tried this on yet. And two, I didn't see any better leggings from Anna. So it's like a bit comparing like the skirt to the leggings. So I can get that out later for you if you want to like have a look at the different um, fabrics. I think these look shinier, but I guess if you put some shine straight on the Anna stuff that I got, it would definitely bring the shine up. So it depends what you're looking for. And they were a lot more, a lot more really priced. This stuff is expensive. Um, and someone asked me if I'm trying them on now. I might try them on later if everyone really wants me to. But right now, I'm just getting through the unboxing first. 
Okay. No seals on these. Again, care instructions comes in a little baggy. Yeah, this must be like a little um like booty shorts. Okay. Again, they say size average, but they're literally just like a high waisted um like undies. I know everyone's gonna call them panties, but the word panty just makes you want to throw up. In Australia, we don't say panties. We just say underwear. So these are undies, not panties. But yeah, these I wouldn't wear out of the house. I'd wear them for like maybe like a festival or something. But other than that, these are definitely more of like a in the bedroom kind of a piece. So yeah. Maybe I'll style them in the styling video. Maybe I won't. We'll see. <laughs> um, should I open up the shining spray? I don't really need it right now, do I? No, well, I'll do it anyway. What even is this? This shine and care spray with intensive butt effect restores the shine of your rubber and latex clothing. It also protects your latex clothing from porosity and premature wear and tear. Fun. Okay. I've got this if I need it. I think I'm going to get the shoes out and show you those now because I also had another unboxing. I sort of already, um, yes, so sorry. I'm jumping all over the place. I forget that you guys can't see the comments that I'm reading. Um, like as I'm reading them out loud in my head. Um, Greg asked, did you get dressing aid? Yes, I did. I got dressing aid as well. What I was just holding was shine spray. Um, but I also got a dressing aid. Now, obviously, some people are just like joining in now, so they haven't seen the beginning of the video. So for that, I'm sorry. And I'm and for those people who have been here for um the whole time. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I'm just trying to answer the questions as I get them. Mm. I got this box a little while ago. It actually, like I said, it got sent to my home, like where my parents live, um, back in Adelaide. So I had to go home and like get it back there. Um, where, what even is the company? I think they contacted me. Yeah, they sent me an email online. Shoe speed, I think. Um, again, I'll have it linked down below. So I can find it because the stuff they had on their website were really cute. They said I could pick it up two items and then they actually ended up sending me some bonuses i'm really excited about that um but the worst part is that the shoes they sent me don't actually fit and instead of um sending them back to exchange them they said that i could um, try them on in the little video so i'm going to style them for you in the latex lookbook that i'll be filming either this week or next week and then just give them away to a subscriber um but yeah, so what have I got? Two pairs of, let me just put my box down. Box over here. So these, I've been a pair of these for like the longest time. I think they're so cute. Um, like with like the PVC stuff. I thought these would look really cute with like the latex pieces. They just make your legs look so long because there's not anything like chopping you off of the ankle. But again, they're like a half a size too big for me. There are 40 and I probably should have got like a 38, but the sizes were all um, kind of confusing because it wasn't in Australian sizing or like UK sizing. It was like different, but yeah, the shoe on the bottom says size 40. Um, wow, amazing heels. What would you wear them with? I would wear these with honestly anything. Like these, I'd wear them with 
um, jeans, maybe even the lace can do a little bit anyway. Um, because yeah, they don't fit me unless I give them to a friend, but most of my friends are like the same size feet as me, so that would be very helpful. Um, yeah, again, I'll have them linked down below if you want to go like check out the website. Um, they're just like very simple and like clean and chic. Um, Mm. Okay, um, someone asked me what size shoe am I? I'm an Australian size 7, um, which I know differs all over the world, so Australian 7. Um, love the shoes. Um, okay, I mean, it looks ridiculous like this, but when you're wearing them, they look really good. It's like a it's fish netted and it's just got a little bit of plastic around the toe to make it like pointy but again they're just a little bit too big for me they're oh these are in a 41 i could definitely put them on now if anyone wanted to see them like on but they are just like a size and a half too big for me but they're really cute um what would i wear these ones with maybe like a plain like t-shirt dress um jeans that were like rolled up at the ankles that sort of thing maybe or just like a nice like basic dress um but yeah so i've got these ones as well um and then as like the bonuses um yeah so sarah says i think the fishnets would work well with the latex leggings um i think you definitely could it might look a bit too much and these would definitely come like the, the sock part would definitely come up higher so like on your leg um like my ankle would be here and the leggings would come all the way down to my ankle and then these would like come over the top there'd be a bit of like overlap in the length but other than that i think they look cute um and then these that mind just all the plastic sound it's those um by monty um like bralettes so which way does it go just and then this bit would go around the back and then it just like sits like either underneath like a dress you've got over the top or um, like, I put it on the other day to take some pictures and I had just like a black bikini underneath that looked really cute um so I got it in the gold and in the silver as well so these I am keeping I love them I think they look really cute again for like um a festival or just like as a nice little like, accessory underneath um like a nice like, low-cut dress I think it's really like um cute and just like adds a bit extra detail so this was in the gold and then I got the exact same thing in silver so I guess it depends on what kind of um and what other jewelry I've got on so yeah it comes like this it's literally like a little bikini top so I like clip it around the back Mm. But yeah, so the chains I'm definitely keeping. I'm thinking I'm going to keep them in the little bags just so they don't get tangled. That, that's all I have for my unboxing day. If anyone has any questions or they want to say anything before I go, then now is the time to get into the comments. <laughs> Hello to Lost America. Does anyone have suggestions of things I should wear with the text pieces in my video? Um, if you've seen my last ones, what did you think? I will definitely do a video with um, trying on all new stuff. Alexandria says, latex leggings look super cute. How would you style the other item or can you even? Um, do you mean like little um, like booty short hot pants thing? Um, those... 
I mean, I'd wear them like at home just for like my boyfriend because I think that would look cute. Or um, but, like as far as going out, if I was going to a festival, sure, why not? I feel like people would just walk around half naked at festivals and that's okay anyway because people kind of expect it. But I definitely wouldn't, like even clubbing, like I wouldn't go out in those because um, I feel like people just have the wrong idea. And I, I think people should be able to wear whatever they want and not get treated badly because of it. But the reality is these days, like people do. And those, like they're not, they're not, they're like literally just underwear. So yeah, I wouldn't wear them out unless it was a festival. Um, yeah, so Helen says clubbing items would be good to see with, like clubbing looks, I guess, so like full outfit. And I definitely can do that. But like I said, with um with these like, little hot pants, like I wouldn't wear these clubbing because they're just like too skimpy. But there's I mean, I guess um these would look cute if you had like sheer pants over the top, maybe would look kind of cute. I did see someone at, but then again that was at Coachella. Um, she did something similar, but it was like baby pink latex, and then she wore like these, um, like white baggy, like a see-through pants over the top, and that looked really cute. Um, and I guess it's a little bit less scandalous than like just wearing the latex bottoms, even though you like can still see your legs anyway. Um, um yeah I did actually think that too Sarah says um maybe in the comments she's just suggesting maybe to wear these underneath the red latex mini skirt and just think about that again maybe if it was like Halloween or something and I was going out wearing the, um, the skirts like my outfit I could wear these underneath but I still think like maybe like latex on latex would be a bit uncomfortable would it like stick in I don't know how that would like go, practically speaking. Um, okay, but bye to Sarah. She's off now and just says that she's hoping I'll show lots of ways to style them soon. And I definitely plan to. I should be getting that video filmed some, I want to say sometime this week, but I'm just not sure because it's already Wednesday. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time just because uni has to be my priority right now. Um, and YouTube is like, second priority I guess but so it's still pretty high up on my list but it's not it's not number one and it's just not going to be a number one for a little while so I think that's just going to be it for today because I do have to get back to school and I'm getting a bit hungry so I'm going to go make myself some food for dinner um but yeah thank you everyone for joining me like I said I can link all of the stuff from my undergrad down below if you're interested and as well as the links to these shoes if you want to see what they look like on because they look so cute and I'm honestly really upset that they don't fit me. Um, if you happen to be a slightly bigger shoe size than me, if you are a um, size 41 or 40, then comment below. Maybe you want shoes, I can send them to you. Um, what I'm going to do with them. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you next week. Yeah.